This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And today we are taking a look at the best boss weapon. So we're going to do this one just a little bit differently than we did the best sword because boss weapons are a little bit different because they all drop at a very specific level and then are all upgraded to an even level. So like when you upgrade these on the anvil, they all upgrade to level six to match up with the mini nog launcher and the dragon head pistol, which are level six and do not upgrade. However, the eye, the claw, the katana and the staff all upgrade so that they are all level six. So this is what will be our baseline damage. And then these we'll take a look at to see how effective they are at the level that they are when you get them. So before we get started, we're gonna go strip down and we are back and ready to get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at each of these items as they are when they drop. And we're gonna get an idea of their damage output with absolutely no armor on so this should be their base damage well it will be their base damage with no effects whatsoever so you can see i got nothing on and i have base stats so let's start with the eye when you get this it is a tier two weapon so it is the lowest of all of them and as we fire oh hold on i forgot the most important part I'm gonna hop out of admin mode so we can see our energy use Okay, so as we fire this, you can see 6-3. It does a nice steady, looks like 3 damage with some, I don't know if that's crits in there or what, but every now and then you get a, you get a little 6 spike in there. So we're going to let the energy refill, and then I'm going to take it till our energy is depleted, and somebody can slow it down and add up the total damage and leave it in the comments below, like you all did the last time with the swords. I'd appreciate that. All right, here we go. I mean, that's a pretty good chunk of damage. We didn't, did we get any sixes in there? I don't think I saw any sixes in there, but that's some nice damage. All right, let's check out its secondary ability. And it looks like it bypasses, the initial um, projectile bypasses any enemies. Let's try to get it right in front of him. Nope, still, again. There we go, we did 11 that time. Let's shoot straight down. 11, it looks like it, it goes for a specific amount of time it's not collision based. Yeah, it's a specific amount of time before it goes and then it explodes. That's kind of weird. Considering like all other projectiles, that's that's rather weird to me. So you'd have to like time it just right. So if you get a direct hit, that looks like that was 17. Let's check out the, um, the little extra projectiles. Looks like two per, is that right? Uh, let's try, let's try this. Nope, hold on, we'll get it. Yeah, it looks like about two per. He, I think he got hit by two of them there. So the secondary ability, all right, let's see how many we can get off before we're out of energy. Two, three, four. So due to the fact that there's a delay in between how quick you can fire those, you're able to get off four just due to your natural energy regeneration. So that is the Urkius Eye. Not, not fantastic, but you know, it's for an early game weapon, that, that beam, that's going to be really good damage to take stuff out early game. And you don't have to hold it down. You can actually pulse it and get you know decent amounts of damage let your energy regen hop around like crazy you know all that good stuff so not not terrible but not great either okay this is the claw that you get from ixio doom um it is a hammer weapon so you hold it back and let go and slam down like so and its secondary effect is that little like burst and it i think that's the slime effect that it's giving so I'm pretty sure it'll like slow them down and this is a tier 3 weapon so when you get it it'll be a level 3 weapon all right let's check out its damage that's that's a pretty good hit 26 I mean you have to like you have to draw it all the way back so you have that annoying drawback shenanigans but for 26 damage that's not terrible all right let's check out its secondary effect was that two damage? I think you're mainly going to use that for the slow. Let's double check to see if that slows. We got our old buddy Bob Bot here. Let's, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's definitely slowed him down. Let's let him, come on, come at me. 
Okay, so let's just charge. This is normal walk. Yeah, that's def that that was his charge with that effect on it. That's definitely slowing him down. So that'd be really handy to to um slow monsters down to give you that chance to get your wind up. This is actually pretty efficient for a hammer, in my opinion, with that slow. Let's pop back out of admin mode. Okay, let's see how many of those we can get off. One. You're you're using it. Oh, two. Hold on. Let's see that again. One. Two. Yeah, you can get two and then it empties your energy, but you got to wait for that to regen just a little bit. It looks like it might use a percentage because it uses way more from the get-go than it does the second time around. So there's one, and then if I just spam the button, there's two. So yeah, interesting. But uh, yeah, not. I mean, for 26 damage, that's not terrible at all. Okay, on to the katana. So this is level one katana. We're gonna do a full combo on old punchy here. That was thirty. That was weird there. Thirty six and twenty four. Thirty six, twenty four. Thirty. Twenty four, twenty four, and twelve. Interesting how that combo works. A couple of those were thirty six. Let's move punchy out of the way. And uh, reset him real quick. Okay, let's try this again. 24, 24, and 12. We were getting a couple 36s in there. That was... That was strange. Um, we're going we're gonna to go with the 24, 24, and 12. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do the secondary ability. And we've already seen this one's secondary ability, but we didn't see it at this level. 20, 10, 10, 20, 10. So, I mean, that's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 60 damage right there. Okay, let's see if we can get a direct hit on him. 30, 30, 60, 90, 120. I mean, if you can get a direct hit for 120, that's actually really freaking good. So that's that's actually pretty powerful in the ability to attack rapid fire like that. I mean, it's um you got a little bit of a a cooldown in between each of those um combos, but it's not terrible. And then your secondary ability, I the one thing I don't like about this sword is that that secondary ability just fires right in front of you. So I mean, if something's going to run into that because it does do damage while it's on the ground and then it explodes, that's that's kind of, you know, that's okay. But at the same time to get like that wide area of effect, you have to jump up in the air and cast it. Slightly annoying in my opinion. And that does, uh, you do obtain that at level 4, so that is a level 4 weapon. Now we're going to take a look at the staff. We're going to use all of our energy. Do, well, try to do direct hits. Let's try that one more time. That was, that was a crap load of damage. This is a tier 5 weapon. Uh, this is the weapon that drops from the, um, the bird boss, whatever its name is. Full energy, all shot. Well, we missed one. Let's try it right in front of him just to make sure that we get it. Full energy, all shots, 27 per hit. What was that? Four hits. That's a crap load of damage. That, that's OP. Like, that's crazy. All right, now let's, it's secondary ability is the damage buff. So let's cast that on ourselves. Let's gain our energy back. Let's do a full barrage again. 35 a hit. Holy crap. Yeah, um, as of right now, I'm going to say this staff has it for being the best weapon. As far as, da if we're basing best weapon off of damage and usability, I got to say the staff's where it's at. But anyway, on to the next. We got the Mininog Launcher. Let's see how we do here. So we're going to do full energy and 14. I think, honestly though, I think those fire through. Yeah, those fire through. You have to collide with something. We'll collide 56. One does 14. Let's do a full wind up. We're going to line up. We're going to jump straight down. 56. So if you get a full hit, you're doing 56. 
But note that the rockets do pass through and have to collide with something other than the enemy to damage. It has no secondary ability and uh, full charge. You can get two full charges and one rocket with a full bar of energy. Um, I'm going to say this gun sucks. Okay, onto the dragon launcher. It has no secondary ability. By the way, these two here are tier six. So we're going to do a full charge. 32. You have to ignore this uh, secondary damage here. This is actually something I want to point out real quick and was pointed out to me by one of our awesome viewers and uh, name is on the screen and uh, this viewer stated that the secondary damage for these status effects the status effect damage so like the poison the, the fire and all of that is actually based off of percentage of the health so because punchy has so much health that is why that burn damage is ticking for 563 so that's actually pretty awesome if you think about it and it actually really gives the weapons with status effects a big bonus as far as damage goes in my opinion i mean littler things not going to hit them as hard but they have less health the bigger things that are going to be more of a problem these things are actually going to tear up a lot more so that's something to keep in mind when judging best weapon let's let's uh reset our punchy a little bit here let's do since this thing has stayed it has the actual just little fire too. Let's give him a full barrage till we run out of energy of our just tapping the button. We get a lot of hits there. I think that it was actually charging. Let me try to um Yeah, it looks like a steady six. Okay, but if you charge it just the slightest bit, you do more. Maybe? That was 32. Was that that wasn't a full charge though, was it? Yeah, that was a full charge. For some reason we were, we seem to be doing more damage there the faster we shot. Let's try that one more time. Yeah, see we're doing 11. But if we tap, we do 6. If we shoot fast enough, we can do 11. That's interesting that it changes depending on how fast how fast you shoot the target that's that's cool and interesting at the same time all right well i'm gonna spam this as fast as i can once again somebody can slow it down and add up the damage later here we go all right that was a full bout of energy let's go one more time and there we go so somebody can approximate the damage from that and there we go, that was all of the weapons as you can obtain them, and that was their damage. So now let's go through and do it at all of them level six. So like I said, you can do all of these here. You can take them to the anvil in the end game, whole dungeon shenanigans and upgrade them. They'll get the little star, they'll change their icon and they will be level six. So now let's go through all of those and I don't know, should I do these? Mm, I mean, we've already seen them. Their damage really isn't going to change. Honestly, this this thing is trash, in my opinion. Compared to these other ones, like, the fact that all of the rockets on that have to, you know, can pass through and have to collide with something to do damage, and then the damage isn't even all that. Uh, I'm just, I'm not impressed. Okay, let's check out the eye. So here we go. I'm going to go through all of my energy with just the beam. Looks like we're doing 7s and 14s. A couple 14s in there, mostly 7s. Alright, I'm going to do it again. Somebody can slow it down. Ready? Go. There we go. If somebody wants to slow down, leave it in the comments down below. Let me know what that total damage was. Well, let all of us know, because we're all interested to find out. Okay, let's go on to the Doom Claw. Thing's pretty fancy. It gets a uh, different color and kind of gets that. Did the other one have the... Um the like, uh, what is it, that slimy looking effect? No, it didn't. So this one actually looks, I mean, the eye looks cool too, but this one, I like the way this one looks. Okay, let's do a full hit. 46, holy crap. I mean, it's still the same drawback time it looks like, but that 46 damage, 
Jesus. All right, secondary does four. What did the original do? I'm interested to see what the original did. I, I already don't remember. It's secondary did two and 26. So uh, yeah, you gain 20, 20 damage off of that and double the secondary damage. That's, that's pretty OP. Okay, on to the katana. Let's do a uh, combo. 34, 34, and 17. Yep, looks like a steady 60. Oh, the, that one changed a little bit there. Now we got 34 and 51. 34, 51, 34, 34, and 17. That's really good damage. Let's check out its secondary. Let's try to get them all underneath of them. 28, 28, and 40, or three 28s and a 42. I'm not even attempting to do all this math in my head. I'll let you all do it later. That's uh, I'm, uh that's too much thinking for me to do right now. Anyway, that's uh, that's actually really good upgraded. Okay, on to the staff. Now I'm gonna have to say this staff's probably gonna be the best of them. There was all of them thirty solid thirty two. Every hit. What was the other one? The other one was twenty seven, wasn't it? So that's a th solid thirty two each hit. Let's grab the other one. Yeah, 27. So you get a decent uh, decent upgrade. Okay, let's do it with the damage now. Got our damage buff, energy regens, full barrage. 41 per. Let's do it one more time. Four forty ones. That's that's pretty good. That's really good, actually. I mean, what was this guy hitting for? Forty six, and this one does fifty one and thirty four. I mean, the katana. Honestly, as far as melee goes, your katana is where it's at. That I mean, that's that's a crap load of damage with that combo there, and then your secondary if you land it in front of them. 28 per hit and then when they explode 42 that's that's an insane amount of damage um and like i said we already saw these this this kind of loses out because of the upgrades from the other i mean with a full hit you're doing 32 and then they're burning for the percentage of the damage which isn't bad um depending on their health but i mean with a single hit without the burning damage you're doing 46 to that that guy um so i mean if you're doing elemental attacks and you're fighting stuff that's weak against fire this would probably be good especially if it's high hit points and you can do the um the, the solid like you know charge back hit for 32 and then the burn damage but i'm gonna have to say that out of the boss weapons the the katana and the staff rule supreme but you know what what I think doesn't matter. I want to know what you all think because I care what all of you all have to say. So let me know in the comments down below what you think the best boss weapon is. Before we go, I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all your support and to all of the fans out there. This wouldn't be possible without you. You are all amazing. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy and you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.